All right, today we're going to talk about wetland management for waterfowl. Um, here in a little bit you'll see a few clips of us draining our pond. We'll give a few information about how the ducks did this year. I get a lot of questions about where I get my information from. I have a couple of books from Mississippi um, and also these books here. Uh, Mississippi, I think it's Parks and Wildlife or it's a, I don't have the book handy, but it has about the same information that these books have. This is just an older version of this right here. If you can see that, if you see it, wetland management for waterfowl. Basically, if you have private property or leased property or a piece that you can manage, this talks about wood duck ponds, shallow water areas, uh, semi-permanent marshes. You know, it has pretty much good information on any type of manageable wetlands you could think of. It's in this book. This is a newer book. It has a little bit more information than this book, but if you can get your hands on this book, they're produced by the NRCS, which is a subsidiary of the USDA. Anyway, we'll see you here in a little bit at the farm, and uh, hopefully I won't fall in the water. Okay, here we are in what we call pond number one. It's about five acres of water. This structure is about 10 inches wide. Um, you know, we get up to about an average of 18 inches of water in, in, in most of our ponds. Some of them, you know, on the deep end will get close to two feet. Uh, but we want an average of 18, uh, we want to average, I'm sorry, we want to add an average of 12 to 18 inches when you're full. So you can have six inches on one end and 24 on the other, but I like the 12 to 18 inch average if your pond is full. Anyway, you want to drain slow, which when, when I say slow, I'm saying two to three inches a week. You don't want to drain more than that. Go back to that book I was showing you, it causes, it, it, it messes up the silt loam a little too much. It's not natural. You'll end up with cockleburrows and, and undesirable vegetation. I can carry on and on and on about that. But anyway, what we did the last week, Tony took this board and he jacked it up to slow down the draining process. That's a two by six. We did that about four days ago. What I'm going to do now is pull that board completely out. But that's how we... You know, there's no real science, you know, there's no exact science to it, but we strategically drain our ponds down slowly. These are our fields. On the, on the other end of the farm is our timber holes. They're the first ones that we drain. We want them kind of drained before growing season actually starts. It's almost March the 15th, and growing season for our area here in Louisiana starts around March the 15th for some of your trees and some of your grasses and stuff like that. So basically, this is what I'm going to do now. Ain't much to it. Pull the board out of the way, all the way. Just like that. Okay? Now that's gonna flow. It's gonna flow a little bit faster than it was flowing. It's gonna drop, I don't know, probably two to three inches by, by next Saturday, which is what we're looking for. Anyway, we'll see you at the next structure. <laughs> One more quick note, just to make it clear. Each one of our ponds or fields, whatever you want to call them, I don't care, they drain to the next one, and then they all drain out. And you'll see as this is our very first one, that's our first levee past, that, past the big ugly blind. And so this pond here drains into this pond, and so on and so forth. And as we get out of here, our structures get much bigger because by the time you get to the end of the line, we started with a 10 inch structure when we get down to the end of the farm we'll be at a 48 inch structure hey everybody this is our second pond we've already pulled one board out last week so now we're coming around we're jacking this one up and pulling it up this pond in particular drains into our third pond it drains about 20 acres of water once everything's drained out number three will drain in number four and out to the main creek bed that we have down there so I'm going to come down here, pull this up, show y'all what's going on. We've been having a lot of water lately because we, you know, it's Louisiana, we get monsoon season. So what I'm going to do here is just wedge it in just to get a few inches of drainage. Right. And just to keep this from falling, we have these wooden blocks called wedges. I'm gonna stick to <laughs> like them. they didn't know what a wedge. 
Oh, well, it wouldn't black out of wind. Stick that down in here. <laughs> Let him fall in. I hope he falls. <laughs> All right, here we go. Back on track. All right, back on track now. I'm gonna wedge this in here. All right. Now it's wedged in here. We have a few inches of flow now, and so we go into our number three pond. I'm falling around a ride here because I'm a big old klutz. <laughs> We've had a lot of comments on our videos. Let me get up here. Y'all can see me. We have had a lot of comments on our videos about how our water structures work, how our duck season went, everything else. So this is our video explaining everything that's happened this past season. Now, next week, we're going to be going on a little hunt. And after that, it's going to be a good slideshow. I'm going to put up for you guys with the good music and everything to show you all what this last scene has been like for us. So we have this structure flowing now. We're going to head up to our next structure. All right, this is our structure and one of our timber holes. This is 20 acres of timber. We've already started draining it several weeks ago or a few weeks ago. But this particular structure drains 40 total acres. This is the board we've already pulled out. And like he was showing you, we double those wedges and slide them under if we're trying to slow the drain down. But when we dam these up, we actually caulk them, slide them in, caulk the backside, and shove the wedges in our channel iron here in order to wedge them to the back so we we end up with minimum leaks. I'm kind of anal about it because pumping water costs a lot of money. So you're already losing a lot for evaporation and ground saturation. So the, the, the least amount of water we can lose, the, uh, the great, the, the, the best, in other words, during season. But now we gotta get this water off of here to get ready for springtime. So anyway, we pull these boards. If it is a two by four, we'll normally pull them out we might wedge them up just a little bit depending on how much more is flowing into this pond but what we do when we're flowing into this pond we just go ahead and pull the board completely out because it's having to keep up with this pond and the pond in front you know the two ponds in front of it this one is totally a 40 uh, uh, 40 acres total draining and as you see this box the last one that Tony almost fell in it was I think it's an 18 inch box and this box here is right at 30 inches we just, you can use a pipe and cut it in half. We built this one out of quarter inch plate and just made a C out of it and then C channel for the risers. Then you leave enough room to put a two by four and a wedge in to wedge it in. That way you just pull the wedges out, pull your board out. And then if you're jacking your board in at an angle, you can use the wedge again to keep it from falling down or floating out. All right then. All right, people, this is our what we call our main structure, number four structure. I'm gonna show you guys how we take the boards out. We've already jarred a little bit to get it loose, but if you look down here, you see we have our board tucked in with wedges on each side. I already got one side done. I'm gonna show you how we get the other side out. Now, sometimes these wedges are really hard to get out. I've already loosened it a little bit, so I'm able to take it out. I'm just gonna show you guys for instructional purposes. Sometimes you need like a hammer with a claw on it to get those wedges out. But. Hang on. You may not can see them, but we got two pintails going out in pond number five. I don't know if you can see them on That's awesome. this little camera, but anyway. Okay. Okay. So, oh. all right. So I got that wedge out. Now we're, we're going to take the board completely out. Yep. Just jar it forward. Get it loose. From you may the need top. a hammer or a flat bar to do that too. Get it loose from the top. Pull it completely out. Okay. Now, like I said, this is our main structure. We have this huge pipe that goes underneath this levee to the other side to the creek bed, which flows to the river. Ooh, a river runs through it. <laughs> now, You're so other, informational, uh, Tony. On the other side here, <laughs> the pipe comes out. We made a swell and we added a bunch of shingles and wood just to keep, just to help from erosion. Erosion control. Erosion control. Erosion control. The redneck way. Now we're going to go up to number five one. Yeah, Another we're going to number five next. We probably won't video that unless if we video some ducks. You pretty much figured it out. This is our largest timber hole here, and this this particular uh, drain drains the the whole flooded part of the farm. And uh, as you can see, the 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 trees, which this is your 
you're pretty young trees here, but anyway, they're, uh, we pretty much just about got them drained. So we decided to pull that whole board out of the way because now we're about to put more water on this pond from draining all the fields. That way we're really not, we're not, really not adding much water to this pond from draining to the other fields because we've pulled a 48 inch two by six completely out of the equation. So it ought to just kind of equal itself out over the next week. Anyway, hope that's enough info. Hey, just one quick, one quick note. The reason why we drain so early, if you look in those books that we showed you, it tells you certain plants that ducks love to death, which I'm not going to mention names. You'll just have to do research for yourself. Yeah, yeah, we don't give a lot of secret information so, here. But I will tell you, it's a very secret plant that ducks absolutely love. And early drain of your ponds are crucial because if you do not drain them in time, then you'll have coffee being grown up, a whole bunch of weeds. No go. So, yeah. Yeah, the no more go. you know. Then you'll end up with a, a semi permanent emergent marsh. But we won't get into all that. And what he's talking about, it's the opposite of stupid weed.